More news coming out of Nicola after markets closed on August 3rd, which seems like Nicola's been in a flurry of activity in the last couple of weeks. The company gained shareholder approval to issue more shares outstanding. So what that means is now Nicola can sell more of its stock to raise money, which it desperately needs. So let me go through that in this brief video and answer what it could mean for investors and shareholders alike. So. The proposal to the amendment to raise the number of shares outstanding will allow Nicola to sell more of the business to dilute shareholders to raise capital. So why does the company want to do this? Because the company wants to raise cash. So in order to raise that cash, it's going to sell more of the company's stock and it's going to get cash in return. Now, this proposal will theoretically raise the number of shares outstanding by 800 million shares. If we were to estimate that at its closing stock price of today of $3.39, Nicola could potentially raise more than $2.4 billion if it sells all of the stock that it's authorized to sell at this closing stock price, which to me seems a... Uh, I don't want to say unrealistic because this stock has been so volatile with price fluctuations so extreme that the company might be able to raise that much money by selling this stock. I remember a little while ago, I would say a little over two years ago, when AMC was able to raise $2 billion by selling its shares when the valuation was extremely high. And so just because Nikola's stock price valuation has exploded from a dollar 20 cents all the way up to three dollars and 40 cents in the last month doesn't mean they won't be able to sell these shares to the public at this high of a price maybe they could get even higher price if investor enthusiasm for nicola stock continues to be robust that remains to be seen but if we're just taking today's closing stock price and you know multiplying by the new number of shares it's allowed to sell it could potentially raise over two billion dollars which would be a massive injection of cash for Nicola which remember I want to show you the cash first it only has hundred and twenty one million of cash as of its latest quarterly update so that would be a big boost now it has some debt that it has to pay off that it borrowed from hedge funds and, and others, but still some of it will come to the company and the company can use that cash to make sure it makes good on the sales orders it's been receiving for its innovative trucks. Now, here's what it could mean for investors as well. Nicola, you could look here, their average number of shares outstanding on a quarterly basis has increased from around 375 million all the way up to 549 million and this proposal would increase the authorization to as much as 1.6 million shares outstanding now what that would mean if Nicola was to exercise that option to sell all of those shares that would dilute existing shareholders meaning if the company were to ever become profitable and you owned one share you would have to split that profit with more shares so for instance let's say let's say let's round it down to 500 million uh, and let's say you owned all of that 500 million of stock and now the company issues more and let's say they reach 1.5 million so they triple the number of shares outstanding in the case where you owned all of the company, all 500 million shares, and the company was to earn $500 million in profit, all of that profit will be entitled to you. You would have full entitlement to all of that profit. So essentially $1 million per share in profit. But now let's say the company dilutes shareholders, and now it has 1.5 million shares outstanding, you would have to split that same $500 million in profit among 1.5 million shares. So your your profit would be third, it, it would be cut by one third. So you would only get one third of those profits now after that stock sale. So you would prefer to be entitled to all of the profits, but with the dilution, you're not entitled to as much of the profits. But 
Why do companies still do this? Well, because they need to raise cash. They get in a situation where they need money, and so they need to sell more shares to get that money because they're limited in how else they can raise capital. In Nicola's case, if it was to go and borrow money, it would cost the company a great deal in terms of interest expenses to borrow that money. Company's already losing a lot of money on the bottom line. It doesn't want to add extra interest expense if it can avoid it. And with this stock sale, it can avoid adding extra interest expense because it sells stock to raise cash. So what this means for investors is that they're going to be entitled to less profits if the company ever becomes profitable, which is going to be a long time from now. But what it also does is it gives the company more time. It buys it more time to fulfill the orders that it's already gotten. It's already received healthy demand from customers. So this would allow Nicola time to fulfill those orders and get itself up, up to a point where it can sustain itself from just making sales and generating cash. So for the long-term viability of the business, this is good news. For the long-term viability of the business it's great news but for each individual shareholder it may not be great news because you'll be entitled to less profits if the company ever becomes profitable okay but that's all i've got for this video thank you so much for watching i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now